Robert's smoked salmon has been served with roasted and boiled quinoa, pureed peas with mint, oyster foam, roasted kelp, samphire, and pearls of horseradish. Robert we know is a flamboyant cook. As he's gone through the competition, he's honed his skills. He really stamped his place. You noticed how we're all going back for more. The dish I've got in store is a little bit quirky. It's basically a smoked sous vide piece of salmon on a quinoa beach with a mint and pea ocean, an oyster foam, and then I've got some horseradish pearls. Not only are you going to give us the flavours uh, of, of the sea, you're going to give us a, a visual impression of the sea as I well. I hope eh? a little snapshot of the sea. It's one of these dishes that if I do this as a dinner party, it's kind of, it's kind of a real uh, uh, a bit of theatre. It, it all belongs together. Not an issue there. But this promise of its decoration, I hope, doesn't outweigh the flavour. Ten minutes. Luke is one of the cleverest, most inventive, most exciting cooks I've seen on MasterChef. And the last time he cooked, he messed it up. There are glaring errors there. I think it's a little safe and basic. I knew the dish was terrible, so it wasn't like I was going up there going, this is great, this is going to be amazing. I knew it was bad, and it was really bad. It was worse than I thought, actually. Confidence is slightly knocked, but I'm just going to, you know, learn from it and uh, hopefully move on. He cannot afford to mess up again. He's got to recover that brilliance today, John, or it could be over. I'm so glad you've given me this, you know, chance to redeem myself. And what I'm doing today is to try and show you that you were right to put me through. What are you making? So I'm doing a dim sum sharing platter for three. That's you two and me, so there better not be a guest judge. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, so I'm doing uh, <laughs> I'm doing pork uh, pork gyoza, prawn toast, whole prawn toast. I'm then doing cumin, lamb, uh, pancakes. You do love a finger plate, oh, don't yeah, you, mate? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's Why? Just, it's just like you know when you go into a restaurant and you um, and there's all these things you want to pick. If you do, if you pick finger food, you can have them all. <laughs> Are you going to get it done in time? Just. This is like, I don't know what. I mean, it's like a final with eight people now. It's incredible what's going on in here. Bang on. Just 60 seconds. Come on, move yourselves. Last touches to your plate. Time's up. That's it. First up is Angela's dish of John Dory topped with a slice of crispy fennel and served with scallops, prawns and two sauces, fennel and pastis vierge and roasted shellfish. Oh. Oh. I tell you what, now John's poured, poured that sauce on, that dish has come alive. Look at that. I think sauce is majestic. Absolutely perfect, both in texture and in flavour. What you have is this wonderful richness of the sea, and you have a wonderful caramel sweetness that's come from the shells that have all cooked together. And sitting amongst that, we have a piece of John Dory, which is absolutely delicious, a prawn, which is by itself is a wonderful thing, and a scallop, which is soft and really well cooked. So good in so many bits, so good. Robert's smoked salmon has been served with roasted and boiled quinoa, pureed peas with mint, oyster foam, 
roasted kelp, samphire and pearls of horseradish. Fancy. That smoked salmon is absolutely heavenly. It's smoky, it's delicious, it's addictive, and with a little bit of horseradish, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. The pea puree I really like with the seaweed. The quinoa itself is still a little bit hard. It can be a lot softer. I don't like the quinoa um, because uh, I, just, I just find it very, very bland and a bit, bit wet. But the other stuff that's on there is bordering, I think, genius. Well, thank you. Ping's duck breast has been served with a spring roll filled with shiitake mushrooms and glass noodles, accompanied by pickled yellow and green cucumber, baby pak choy, caramelised plums and a red wine jus. There is bags and bags of flavour in this dish. Uh, that red wine sauce with the plums is extraordinary. It's sweet and at the same time slightly sour. Uh, it's got a warmth to the back of it. I love that with the plums and the duck. I think that's absolutely wonderful. Your duck is cooked as moist as you like. There is also a sweetness in that crispy spring roll that I love. And then when I got a little bit of sharp pickled vegetable as well, I loved that as well. That was just something else. I'm just going from tripping from flavour sensation to flavour sensation to flavour sensation. You've shown a very clever ability to blend east and west. We're talking about fusion here, which is extremely difficult. Well done. Thank you. Jack's dish is pork cheek croquettes served with pork tenderloin, sweet potato quenelles, spinach, onion puree, caramelised apples, crackling, sage and a pork jus. I really like the presentation. That bit of crackling there, you're going to look at it and think it looks like a pig's tail. I love the crispy crackly on the pork. I love the fact that your piece of pork tenderloin is wonderfully cooked. I like the sauce around the outside of it and I like your onion puree that sits under it. But the whole thing lacks seasoning. OK. Really well executed, really interesting concept, but go for the seasoning. OK, thank you. I've got really good cooking, a really good touch and purees and moist pork, but I don't actually have the filling flavour of, of, of pork. I don't know, you, you do, definitely do need a twist of seasoning, but, but... Oh. Luke's sharing plate comprises gyoza filled with pork and fennel, topped with crispy onions, sesame prawn toast, and cumin lamb with cucumber pickle to be wrapped in pancakes and eaten with a soy balsamic sauce. <laughs> I like the little bit of chilli heat on, on those prawns. Your little pork dumplings, mate, they are just an absolute winner. John makes them. Yours are as good as John's, if not maybe even a bit better. Bursting full of flavour. <laughs> I like the, uh, like the spiciness on that lamb. The lamb is sweet and you've got a little bit of subtle, subtle and still sweet acidity with your salad. Mate, you're back. You're back. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, I was worried for you. Uh, great looking dish, fantastic flavours. Uh, you're very good, I'm very happy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's all conceived very well. I think it's technically brilliant. Uh, I think it's all really tasty. I think it's all beautifully seasoned and good on you. Good on you indeed. Very, very good, very, very clever and I like your style.